So you've decided that to pursue your creativity, you want to use paints. What do you put that paint on? Which palette would you choose? Why would you choose that palette? And why does it matter which palette you use depending on the paint? We'll cover that and more right after this. Hi, I'm Tim Longwell with Longwell Art, where we help you reignite your creativity for your health and happiness as you create for contentment. The common palettes for oil paints are the glass plate like I use, which if you can picture in your mind the glass that comes out of a photo picture frame, only a little bit thicker, just lay it on the top of a table or tablecloth or little stand or whatever. Then there's the wooden types that everybody's familiar with. You got little, some people may not be aware of them, but there's the rectangle one. And you hold them the same way, you just tuck them in. You hold the palette like that, you, you tuck it in. Now this one will work real good for oil and acrylics, but it doesn't work so good for watercolors because you're mixing with the water and dealing with that and everything. But so you can just you mix your colors and everything here, and you'd clean them with your brush cleaner and what have you. you use a metal scraper, scrape them off. The old palette is the one that everybody's used to seeing, like the Bob Ross and several others where the old painting pictures where you see the movies even show the old painters, the old masters. They're using kind of an old one. That's basically what the deal is with this one. And they also make a ceramic pan. They call them butcher pans because that's what they look like. There's, they make them, you can buy them in ceramic or you can get them with enamel and they're enamel coated. What makes the enamel coating nice, especially with acrylic paints, is the paint will just peel right up. And some of the plastic palettes will be the same way. Now, with plastic palettes for watercolors come in different types. You can see this little oval here. It's got the little dish here in the center for mixing. And it holds several colors. You've got more traditional style here with the thumb screw and everything. I always just laid it on the table for mine or held it like this. And then you have your colors and your mixing trays here. And these, there's another version of the mixing tray palette type. Now this one you can also use, these you can all use as acrylics as well. And it just, your cleanup, because of the curves, can be a little more problem to matic to clean up, but it's there and easy enough to use. A little Looks like a little egg holder, but you put your different colors in. But these are common palettes that you see everywhere. Now, one of the things that you can do for acrylic uh, watercolor paints, if you're going to do a lot of them, and the key when you do this is that you got to remember to keep your paints moist in here. But if you put your watercolor, you squeeze your tubes of watercolor into here, to your different colors. And while this is, is a deviled egg tray from Rubbermaid deviled egg tray, like from Walmart or any store that happens to carry them, then get you some sponges. It doesn't matter whether they're sliced up like this, a big chunk like this. It doesn't matter whether it's got the backing on or not. But you keep the sponges moist and just lay it in here, and it'll keep your paints moist, and they won't dry out and crack as much, and they'll stay stuck to the bottom. But these are... This plastic is different from the plastic that you normally make a palette. And if they're allowed to dry out too much, you can't get them to re-stick. Like this little round palette with the ones that I have loose in here, I can put a little drop of water in the bottom of the ones that aren't stuck. And it would stick to the bottom. Whereas with this deviled egg tray, you don't have that luxury. But it is an option to use if you're painting with your watercolors often enough to make it practical. The other palette you saw me using was actually the lid to the little water container. This particular water container comes 
with a small pallet and water container for it's ideal for watercolors and you can use your acrylics in there so if you have any other further questions or anything be sure and ask them in the comments down below and be glad to make another video and answer them for you as well as answer your questions as they are posted in the comments and if you're interested in gear for long wall art we offer prints t-shirts and other available items for your home decorating all on our website at longwallart.com. So if you found today helpful, be sure and subscribe to the channel, ring the little bell to, so you know when we post another video or happen to go live so that you can watch and follow along, maybe even join us while we're painting. Be sure and check out the videos over here on creativity and the equipment you might need as well as other things on the channel that you'll enjoy. Until next time, continue being creative, continue being content. And most of all, be sure and have fun.